I, I don't like him personally. I mean, I think he's a, a good filmmaker. Uh, but uh, I think that as a person, he's a little bit too pretentious, maybe for, for me. Daniel Bonoelas is talking about Alejandro González Iñárritu, a Mexican director whose latest film Birdman took home four Oscars last Sunday, including Best Director and Best Picture. I think he's trying to, uh, to stick to doing really great and complicated movies when maybe uh, we should be, I mean, like the great American filmmakers, you know, Hitchcock, uh, uh, Kubrick, or uh, even Tarantino, they have their own personal style, but the movies are fun, and that's what I think that they're supposed to be. And I think Birdman was trying to take itself too seriously, and I think that's the, that's the thing that I have with Daniel Iñárritu, that he's trying to take himself too seriously, and maybe we should be a little bit more relaxed and just try to do movies that are fun for people to watch. Despite his personal feelings, the 21-year-old Daniel, also a native of Mexico, knows to appreciate what acclaimed fellow countrymen like Iñárritu and Cuarón did to pave the way. Uh, I think they're both great, they're opening doors for us, because now uh, being a Mexican filmmaker and trying to make it uh, big on, on Hollywood, it's, it's not uh, such a difficult thing now. I mean, it took them uh, tons of work and tons of time, but... Uh, it's not something that's impossible. Do you have a dream of one time getting the Oscar? Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, always at, at this time of the year, uh, I usually just have the, you know, that thought in my mind that, oh, will, will I ever get to win one? And what, what will my speech be like? And I, I always have my mother like joking and telling me, if, if you ever get an Oscar and if you don't mention it in your speech, I'm gonna murder you. And I do hope that, I, that one day I'm there because, I mean, it is a sort of like, validation of, of what I'm doing right now, but uh, even if I don't get there, as long as I keep doing the movies that I want to make and as long as people are enjoying them, I'm fine with that. So what was the story about you filming the Corona Festival? Oh yeah, the, the Corona... <laughs> that was actually a, a really funny story because I... we have, In Mexico we have a, a music festival called Corona Capital, which is probably the biggest music festival that we have in Mexico right now. It's a two-day festival and it has uh, about uh, 50 different bands uh, in, in a weekend. Getting paid to go to a music fest just to film them is just like, it's like my, my dream job. Mine too! Uh, yeah, I know, I know, right? <laughs> it's two day festival, so the first day I just went and just had a look at how uh, everything was set up and then the second day I, I realized that when the, you know, the security guys, would, when they check your bag, they would check what's inside the bag, so that if, if you have like a, a jacket inside your bag and you just pull it out for everyone to see what's inside your bag, they wouldn't check the jacket. <laughs> so I just grabbed my camera and my jacket, just put it in the bag, and when they were checking, I just took the jacket out so they could see what was inside, but no one noticed that I had the camera and the jacket, so... And I'm also wondering, uh, what is it, or who is it, who inspired you in the past? or maybe just keeps inspiring to do whatever you're doing right now? Uh, of course, there are people in the industry that I do look up to, uh, just to name a few. Um, George Lucas, he did Star Wars, and I think that's probably like the movie that actually got me interested, just in filmmaking. Um, right now, I think uh, the, the director that I look up to most is uh, Christopher Nolan, because, uh, like I was telling you before, uh, I think his movies are the perfect combination of deep but also accessible and entertaining because the movies are fun. There's a cinematographer, uh, his name is Philip Bloom. Uh, he actually got me more, uh, focused more on, on the image aspect of the, of the movies, you know, like all the technical stuff behind behind camera that I, I, I really didn't know about. He got me interested into that and I, uh, I learned a lot from watching him online, you know, he had to go out and I follow him a lot. I mean, I can, I can make my own my, my own dream come true and become a really uh, successful filmmaker, but if I can help uh, 20 other people uh, achieve their dream, then it's, uh, for me, I think it would be 20 times the, you know, the, the gratification, you know. Thank you so much.